currently in Switzerland and we're staying in Geneva which is on the kind of south um, western side of Geneva Lake or Lake Le Mans and we've been here for a couple days but today we decided to go around to the other side of the lake to the west side so that we could see this castle that you can see over there and this is called Chillon Castle. I'm not really sure how to pronounce any of these words. Um, so we got on a train this morning and we spent most of the morning coming over here all the way to Montreux and we had a couple mishaps on the train. Um, first we got on the wrong train although it was going in the right direction we just we'd been trying to get on a train that was gonna go all the way to the castle but we got on a train that was going to a different end destination so we just had to get off in the middle and um, get on a connecting train that got us to the castle so that was all right that was a big problem um, but then right when we got to the train that got on the castle Timothy accidentally stayed on the train for a moment too long and the train left with him so then I had to go follow him on the train um, because I had our train tickets so he couldn't just come back to me so I had to go follow him to the next stop and then we had to come back so we finally made it to the castle and it's a little after one o'clock now um, and so we've just stopped so that we could eat our lunch and now the boys are playing because they've been really cooped up for, well, for kind of this entire trip to some extent. I mean, Zach's been in the front pack and there's been a lot of sitting on trains and things like that. So they're pretty pleased to just be out on this rocky little beach. Um, we are on, like I said, on the side of Lake Geneva. So you can see the entire lake here. You can't even see all the way across it quite. Um, I mean, you can see the mountains very distantly on the other side, but you can't see the towns on the other side. Um, and then over here, kind of to the south, we've got some of the Alps. So it's very beautiful here because we are staying right in between some of the lakes and the Alps. And there are lots of cool castles and other things. Um, there's a chocolate factory not too far from here that we might get a chance to check out, although probably not today because it's gotten too late. Um, there's the Nestle Food Museum called Alimentarium, which is like the largest food museum in the world, I think. So we're hoping to go check that out after the castle today. Um, but we have kind of a busy day of sightseeing and adventuring ahead of us and we are just taking a moment here to relax um, but something that I wanted to talk to you guys about today is kind of the idea of balancing fun and work. Um, I don't talk about it very much on my channel but something that I just think is completely crazy and you might disagree with me I guess I don't know, um, this is at least controversial, but is I think it's crazy that so many people spend 40 plus hours every week doing something they hate, doing a job that they dread going to. Now I'm not saying that working a 9 to 5 job, that there's anything wrong with that of course, um, and lots of people have jobs that they love or at least that they enjoy, and working is an important thing to do to pay the bills of course, but so many people dread going to work and hate going to work and yet they spend the majority majority of their waking hours going to work, coming back from work, being at work, and I just think that we shouldn't live that way, that we should spend our time doing things that we enjoy or at least, you know, aren't, you know, are at least functional and don't greatly bother us. So, you know, maybe you have something that you do that you love or maybe you just have something that pays the bills, but whatever you do, I think it's important that we spend our lives doing fun things that we truly enjoy because you only live once, right? And so so I just think that that's an important thing to keep in mind. Now I have a baby that has climbed into my lap here. Um, <laughs> but so today we're spending this day just kind of going around and sightseeing. Uh, as I mentioned before, we're traveling around Europe for about eight weeks right now. And that's definitely not eight weeks of vacation because I mean, I work from home, so I work on the road also. So it's not like we're taking all that time off. I'm still working, but it's also just important to make time for things that you love, like traveling, and to make time for, <laughs> thanks Zach, and to make time for fun things that you, you know, you don't get to do all the time that are kind of the spice of life. Where did that boat go, Zachary? Where did it go? It went around behind the castle, didn't it? Yeah. He climbed all the way up here on these rocks. All the way from down there on the ground, all the way up the rocks. Oh, where did all those waves come from? 
Well, they are in the water, but what caused the waves, Walter? <laughs> was there something in the water that made the waves? Yeah. What was it? A harbor! A boat! <laughs> this is a little harbor. <laughs> yep. This castle that we're in is built on a rocky island and this is actually just part of the island here and you can see the rocks jutting up into the castle basement which is pretty cool. I'm coming. Well, we ended up spending the entire afternoon at the castle because the castle was a lot bigger and more interesting than we thought it was going to be. It was this really cool medieval castle and there were so many interesting things there to look at. So we never got to the food museum, but that's okay because we really enjoyed our time going around the lake and at the castle. And so now I'm back here at this little cottage, well actually it's a pretty big cottage that we're staying at in Switzerland right now. And we are staying at an Airbnb and our hosts are amazing. They've been making us breakfast every single morning and we're just really enjoying our time here. I did want to address one little thing, a comment that I feel like some people might have about this video, about how earlier I was talking about uh, taking time to do things you love and taking time to uh, design a lifestyle that you love, whether that is traveling or whatever that looks like for you. I know that some people might think or feel or comment and say, well, that's great for you. You know, you have the flexibility and the ability and the resources to be able to do these things, but I'm stuck at a nine to five job or I don't have the money to do that, something like that. Um, so there was two things I wanted to say about that. One is, if you haven't already, make sure you watch the last video I put up, which is all about how to afford long-term travel, because I really think that traveling long-term especially can be a lot more affordable than most people think that it is. I didn't travel for a really long time because I thought that it would be really expensive and I didn't have any money to spend on that. But now we're taking this two month long trip and affording it relatively easily and it's not because now we're just rolling in cash or something like that. It's because I discovered some different strategies that could be used to make it a lot more affordable. So there was the expense of coming over to Europe, so those plane tickets, although we got a really good deal on those and I talk about that in that video about how to afford travel. But beyond that, our expenses here aren't much more than they would be in America. So watch that video if you're interested in traveling long term. I just wanted to put that out there, that you don't have to have a lot of money to have the ability to be able to go on a trip or to have a traveling lifestyle if that's something that you want to pursue. And then the other thing I wanted to say was just that, you know, everything that I have, every aspect of my lifestyle is something that I created from scratch. I didn't have anything handed to me and like nobody gave this lifestyle to me and I wasn't born into it by any means. So if you have a dream or if you want your lifestyle to look different than it is now, I'm a firm believer that we create 
the lifestyle that we live, that we create our reality. And I don't mean that in any sort of weird, woo-woo, spiritual type way. I just mean it's a fact that for the most part, we create the reality that we live in. Our actions have consequences, be they good or bad consequences, and everything that you do kind of shapes how your life ends up and what your lifestyle ends up looking like. So if you want to create a lifestyle that looks like one thing or the other, then you can start taking actions to move yourself in that way. So don't look at me and just I don't want people to look at my lifestyle and be envious of it or anything like that because first off, no one, like there's parts of any person's life that aren't shiny and beautiful, you know, and so no one has a perfect life. We all know that, right? But beyond that, I just want to empower you that you can shape the course of your life and you can turn it into anything and whatever you want it to be. Okay, well I know that this wasn't the longest travel vlog by any means and I'm definitely still getting the hang of figuring out how to vlog at all. Especially travel vlogging is way more challenging than people make it look. So bear with me as I'm figuring this out. I really want to be sharing some of our adventures with you and sharing a little bit of the behind the scenes of my life. But it is something that I'm not used to and something that I'm still learning how to do. So if you have any tips or tricks about how to make my travel vlogs better. Um, I'm not planning on doing a whole lot of them, so don't worry if that's not what you're here for. I'm not gonna, this channel isn't gonna turn into a travel vlog channel by any means. Uh, I was talking in one of my recent videos about possibly starting a second channel to put these travel vlogs on, having a channel that was about travel or food or something like that, and a lot of people said they thought it was a great idea, other people said you should just put it here, and what I decided to do is just to not do very much travel related content and just keep it here for now just because we are really busy right now and we're juggling a lot of things including travel and figuring out how to travel. So I didn't really want to add one more thing to my plate starting a new channel. It's definitely something that I'm interested in doing down the road, but for right now I just don't think that it's the best move. So I'm just going to keep the travel content at a minimum, do maybe one travel vlog for each place that we go, or maybe once or twice a month. We're only traveling for two months, so I'm just gonna keep it at a minimum, keep it here, but still, if you have any specific requests for content you wanna see as I'm on the road in Europe, then I would definitely welcome your suggestions. Okay, so that's where I'm going to end this travel vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that if you're interested in seeing more content related to travel potentially, but mostly success and entrepreneurship and intentional living, then you subscribe to my channel. And if you enjoy this video, of course, make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below to let me know. Okay, well, thank you so much. I hope to see you in my next video and I hope you have an amazing week.